<laughs> Evening, morning, and or afternoon Blood Bowl fans. This is Gamba, and we are here for the last regular season weekly update. Before we kick this bad boy off, I wanted to start by saying thank you to all my admins. You guys have been awesome. You guys are trying really hard to pull people in and talking to people and making this community kind of what it is so great. You know, we got people that actually like each other and talk to each other and converse. And uh, for the most part, we don't let the salt get to us when we have bad games. Uh, also, I want to thank you, the coaches, for being amazing, um, especially the ones that have gone above and beyond. Uh, thank you so much for going out on Reddit. I see your posts all the time when you're like, hey, you should join this league because we're awesome. And I appreciate that. It's, it, it sincerely touches the, the cold pit that used to be a heart. Um, and uh, oh. the last thing before we jump into this, I wanted to give a quick breakdown of what's going to happen. That way you guys are 100% sure. And then I'm also going to make another post after this about how it's going to break down. That way everyone is on board. So if you're in the middle of the pack, nothing happens for you. I'm going to have a spin league. You can jump in the spin league. You can play up to four matches to kind of help with the TV so you're not falling behind the people in playoffs. The top four in Division One of REL and the top four in Division One in the G-Man. You guys get to go to playoffs. Congratulations. That's awesome for you. It's single elimin or top five, sorry. It's single elimination. Um, we're going to be seeding at number one seed versus the bottom seed and so on and so forth in. So two versus the second bottom, three versus that, and so on and so forth. Um, if you were in the top one of G-Man Division 2 and REL Division 2, congratulations. You also get to go to playoffs. You will be playing seed one. Have fun. Um... If you were at the bottom tier of Division 1 and Division 2 of the G-Man, the very bottom, you are auto getting dropped to Division 2. Um, so you will know for next season that's where you will be at. And second to bottom, third to bottom, and fourth to bottom, you will be playing the reciprocal of REL Division 2 and G-Man Division 2. I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense now. Don't worry, I will send you tickets. There will be matches. They are best of three. If you win... You go up if you're down, and if you lose and you're on top, something or another, we'll figure it out. You guys got this. I've talked about it enough. It's in the rules somewhere. You can peruse them. All right, guys. So let's jump into Division One, the last week. And uh, I'll let uh, Gengar take it off since he's kind of in this league. Yeah. Uh, Division Two, right? No, Division One. I was about to say, I'm not in Division One. Well, yet. you're in the G, man. <laughs> That's the league. Yeah. Uh, anyway, first I want to, um, on behalf of all the coaches, thank you for your gratitude, Gamba, and be sure that we will do that a lot more because everybody wants to make the community great. Oh, I love you guys, for reals. Uh, next season I really do plan on splurging and trying to get way better prizes than just video games, stuff that's more tangible, So because you guys are worth it. And uh, without you guys there wouldn't be a league, which means I just play ARC 24-7. Thinking about <laughs> it, that might not be bad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, caveman. Um, so, uh, this week in the Division 1 of the G-Man Cup, we got the Monsters of Rock versus the Jungle Corsairs, which went 1-2 to two for the Jungle Corsairs. High Sales versus Thorin and Company, which went 1-2 to two for Thorin and Company. And a lot of pain for the High Sales players. Yep, they took a beating heard. and they dropped 3 on the TV. I think there was like one dead catcher and a few Mystics games. I'm not going to lie. He may be giving the Orkin remnants for this season of uh, most lost in uh, TV value. Uh, yeah. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do math, but I think I'm going to have to break out the old calculator and uh, figure that out. Anyway, Macaroni Highway versus Internet Dimensional Bullshit. 0-2 because Steven doesn't play anymore for some reason. We miss you, Steven. Come we back. Do. Come back. Uh, Elven Fantasy versus Lizard Rhymes. 2-1. Elven Fantasy proving that they're the only OG original gangsta elves. <laughs> Green Bay Packmasters in a very close game. Lose versus Red Rap Dota. It came down to a turn 16 touchdown. Oh, that's so oh. close. And Metal yeah. needed to win that game if he had a shot at playoffs too, which is a little bit unfortunate. He yeah. uh, basically misses playoffs now because of this. There's always season 7 and 4 and 5 <laughs> forever. The Oricon <laughs> Remnants versus the Midsummer Nights. What the fuck? This hasn't played yet. Yeah, I don't know what's happening on this one. Um, I think one of the coaches has reached out to me. I have to go pull up the old uh, Reddit message log. One of them reached out to me and said they were having a hard time with the other one, or the other one might be out of town. Um, so if you're watching this and you can clearly tell that I'm not remembering it correctly, 
Shoot me a message. On Reddit, not on email. I'll forget it in email. Uh, the Mount Lamanite Coldblots versus the Pentathor Chargers. The Chargers, they won with a, I think, extremely boring game because it's seven armor breaks and two armor breaks. Come on, guys. This is not, this is not football. It's Blood Bowl. <laughs> All right. Let's take a jump over to the leaderboards. And uh, I think as of right now, this is how it's going to stand. I think what you see is what you get for going to the playoffs. Um, so obviously Hamboy is going to be seed one for uh, the G-Man. Elven Fantasy is taking seed two. Um, Mountain Cold Bloods is going to be the third seed. Uh, High Sales is going to be the fourth seed, and uh, the the second to last seed is going to be uh, Dreamify, uh, squeezing it out there with a couple extra draws. Um, the Jungle Call says actually doing a really nice thing because they are really low TV for actually being so high up on this list. Same with Hamboy. Uh, Hamboy has just recently gotten to a higher TV value. The whole the whole season he was like twelve hundred and thirteen hundred. He was pretty low. Yeah, but there's a big after... difference between a low TV Dark Elf team and a low TV Red team. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. and after that game with uh, Thorn and Company. Venichar is actually the lowest TV out of all of them, although that might be before the loners are applied. Yeah, that's yeah, before. before the loners are applied, yeah. Um, well, remember, Hamboy is going to be playing the winner of Division 2 of the G-Man, so he'll be playing Shadow Hill. He'll... Hamboy has to play Shadow Hill. Yep, and Elven Fantasy will be playing um, Jungle Corsairs. So we'll have oh. Dark Elves versus Dark Elves and Rats God, versus Dark Elves. That's going to be such a... Ugh. <laughs> all the dodges, yeah. all the passing. Well, that's ah. that's that's the G-man. I mean, if you look at it, we got one real bash team, and that's that's our lizards. Um, and our lizards are going to be playing uh, high sales. Let's go, KG. Let's go. All right. No, so. no going lizards. We have too many of them. Yeah, we already. do have too many lizards. <laughs> Boo, lizards. All right. So. Let's, uh, let's hear you guys' picks, and we'll take a quick look at the teams with your picks. So, um, Hamboy versus Shadow Hill. What do you guys think? I'm going to give it to, ha to Hamboy. All right. I am going to give it to really well. Shadow Hill Cowboys. Okay. We got one for Shadow, one for Ham. Loom, what do you think? You've been awfully quiet. I'd say Hamboy. Yeah. Rats are going to win it. I'd say Shadow Hill for the simple reason, because every fucking piece has blotch. Every piece has blodge. Let's take a quick look then uh, over at the Reddit Red Dotas. And uh, let's see what he's got to combat it. He does have a little bit of tackle, um, which will help. No uh, no piling <laughs> on. It must. Huh? It must help because it's the only thing he's got against those fuckers. Yeah, I was about to say, that's pretty much what he's got. Well, he's also got his uh, Gutter Runner, which has uh, Leap, Agility 5, and it's a beast. That's a stupid beast, and he's got yeah, a one turn. Got a, yeah, but that's one uh, turn. Uh, is going to do nothing but push the elf around. Mm -hmm. That's true, and then agility four is going to make those dodges. Um, I can see where he you're getting have his at. He killer though. I'm going to jump up really claw. quickly. Yeah, he's got the killer, but the uh, claw's not going to do a whole lot. I mean, it's going to do nothing because it's not going to simply hit the elf. Because of all the dodge. <laughs> I think my cat is trying to commit seppuku, because all I hear him do is yell meow over and over again. Meow puku. Meow puku. Alright, let's take a quick look and see what he's up against. Um, so, I'm looking at the Shadow Hill, and yeah, he's got dodge pretty much on everyone. Everyone's got dodge. No, blodge. Yeah. The blodge, blodge, is, blodge. Oh my god, the blodge, blodge is real. Blodge. The blodge is real. And the handboy will be bringing a wizard into this, because of the TV difference. Ooh. Well, he, that's because Shadow Hill Cowboys is running 12 players. He could fire one to avoid the TV, or to avoid the TV blow, but I don't know. Yep. I would, I actually, with the, the money that he has, he could fire one to save that, and then hire him on again right after the match. He's got well, he no SDP. He, he has a lineman, which is basically worth 70k, and yeah. got no skill up, so he's easily able to do that. That might be a smart strategy on, pardon me, on his part. It will, yeah. uh, it will totally save him giving up a wizard, which can be the, that could be a deciding factor right there, not being able to knock him down and just hitting him with a lightning bolt, um, and then scooping it up with the, the gutter runner and getting out of there. Because of, uh, cause of all those elves, he only has two targets which he can hit reliably, and the other nine he just can't hurt. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's or so it's just going to be really hard, own. he's going to have to get a pow. Alright, Seriously, I, ha I hate this team with a passion. Damn. <laughs> Damn. 
All right, let's take a look. Okay, so now we got uh, Elven Fantasy versus um, Dreamify. The Jungle Corsairs. Ooh, High Elf versus Dark Elf. Yeah, I the perfect. Is, What's up? I would love for Elven Fantasy to win, but I think this is the season of Dark Elves. I don't know why, but this is the season of Dark Elves. All right, so we know uh, Gangrass is gonna pick Dark Elves for everyone. That's that's the rest. That's his picks for the rest of the the, the match. <laughs> I um, I want to pick uh, Elven Fantasy on this one. He has I'm, a really strong team. I'm gonna go with you two, Gamba, because uh, first of all, the Jungle Corsair's diving tackle Blitzer is uh, gonna miss the game. Ooh. And second of all, the um, high, the Elven Fantasy is just better developed overall. I mean, we got a lot of dodge. Um, yeah. Guard. There's one. There's one thing they will have though, because the um, Jungle Core says I'm sitting at 1,400, and Elven Fantasy is basically sitting at 1,800. We are going to see some star players, maybe, or some like special bribes or things that actually can potentially turn the game around. Why, why do you think he's going to be at 1,800? He's got 12 players, so he won't be getting um, a loner. He'll be getting two loners, but that's still not enough to, you know, he's easily going to get a wizard and everything. Who's getting two loners? Oh yeah, he said that he's a lot higher. Okay, yeah. So he probably will get a, at least the wizard. Dang. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. It is. It is. I, I think he's gonna have the problem though that you brought up with Hamboy. He has one tackle pieces down, so he's got a couple tackle pieces. Yeah. But. This is going to be the match of the ultimate on the dog. Because Doomfire is basically the ultimate on the dog in this uh, setup. Oh, definitely. All right, Luminous. Who's your pick go to? I'd have to go with Elven Fantasy here. Uh, main reason, Elven Fantasy is sitting at they're sitting at 11 players, um, but they've got that strip ball catcher. Um, they've got a lot of blodge everywhere, and the Dark Elf team. He's gonna get a wizard, yeah, but mm -hmm. he doesn't really have a lot of tools. Maybe he can get a touchdown out of that wizard, but he, he'll definitely need it against this team. Yeah, I really am feeling like the heel today. That's fine. That's fine. I like it. I mean, we're 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 picking the favorites, obviously, in these matchups. But I'm only doing it just because of the track record that I've seen. El Walkerthon's been a smart coach. He plays smart. Um, and I just think he's, I think that's going to carry him. The fact that he's got a little more team value and that he's going to play really safe, I think that's going to carry him. But yeah. it's also Blood Bowl, so who knows? Yeah, and right. also, let's go admin team. Go Walkerthon. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't announced that yet. <laughs> he only knows, and now everyone in the world. What? All right. Um, now this is going to be an interesting match. Um, we got the Cold Bloods versus uh, High Sales. Um, Poor Venager. He was hoping so hard, so hard that he wasn't going to face Lizards, so and I was like, "You're <laughs> facing the Cold Bloods. Congratulations." <laughs> yeah, he's a uh, he's in he's in a pickle. But he's going to have five loans in the next match. But he can always maybe win still. <laughs> oh, he can. Five, he's got five. long bong silver still. Yeah. No, but... no, no, not long bong. Forget about long bong. The reason why Venetra is able to win that match goes by the name of where the fuck is he, Captain Kush. Oh, the strength Captain for Kush. war dancer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah. reason why I was still able to win that. Yeah, that's disgusting, but I'm still going to give mine to the Cold Bloods, even though I hate giving the edge to Lizards here. Hmm. They've got tackle pieces, they've got the higher strike to keep them in place, and they've got an AG4 skink, which is just a force to be reckoned with in any game. Oh yeah, and the, and the Blodge Bloxagore. That's it. I, I hate to agree, but I'm thinking with how bad of luck poor uh, High Sales has had with injuries, and we got three mighty blue players. Honestly, I'm not gonna go with High Sale because because of that bad luck. You think it's about it time for him to have a good game? Exactly. Okay. Like I said, it's going to be the season of Dark Elves probably, but I do think High Sales is going to be in the semifinals or even the half finals. Luminous. Yeah, I'm going to have to say, I'm actually going to go with the high sales on this one. Ooh. The one thing that Lizards have, str they struggle with a lot, is uh, ball management. And uh, 
with the leap of ward answers, it's really effective at popping the ball. Granted, uh, the high uh, the cold bloods do have a plus agility skink, but it's the key to the game is going to be keeping that skink up there, as well as his blodge skink. If he can't keep those guys on the pitch, it's going to be very hard for him to at least have somewhat of a secure position with the ball. Um, that and since the TV difference is going to be pretty large, uh, a Venichar is going to get a wizard. So. If he can just pop the ball, get a touchdown, he could even try for a one turn. Um, it's it's pretty open. Uh, I think. Don't just say Villager is going to get a wizard. I'm not sure about that. Because of the yeah. so let's see. One, two. He's got a few loners, I think. Two, two, three loners. He's gonna have three oh. loners. That's about 2100k. So that'd be about fifteen forty. He'd still get a wizard because the cold blood yeah, is hundred. Yeah, and he wouldn't have to throw down. Barely, 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 barely. get a, gets a wizard. Well, that'll be that'll be one of the more interesting matches. Let's let's take a quick talk about the people playing for their their lives. We got some kind of wizard who's going to be uh, facing off. I'm at the dual screen this bad boy, so I can kind of figure out. What I think it was on. Gengar, isn't it? I think it is, but I want to look. Uh, <laughs> no, some kind of wizard is going to be facing. Big Bang Bastards. Ah, oh. So, Chaos versus Lizardmen. Um, Gengar, you will be facing... Um, sorry about this, folks, that I don't have this memorized. You will be facing Monsters of Rock. Uh, Wait, that's yep, sorry. Kind of I got it back, I got a bas lizard. backwards, sorry. <laughs> lizard Rhymes is going to be facing uh, the Burser. So, Lizards versus Lizards, and then Gengar versus uh, Wizard. Um, yeah, I, kn I knew that I was going to face Wizard. And then Demu is going to be playing uh, Andy, Heretics of Lilith. Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that like Dark Elf yeah. versus Dark Elf? Mirror right? matchup. That will be a mirror matchup. So it's two There's mirror matchups and then, well, it's some sort of a mirror matchup because Nose and Chaos, that's like a very Murder special team. thing lore yeah. wise. So, yeah. That that those are our those are our relegation matches. Um, it should be interesting. I know for a fact I've talked to Wizard, and Wizard's looking forward to going to Division Two. <laughs> he's like he's like take me now. Um, I told him that he has to play very defensive and play like an elf because he just you know I prefer to my two last matches I had with Chaos teams. Oh yeah, no, I know he's got to he's gonna have to watch his teams and make sure they just don't get blown away um I, w I already killed two chaos warriors i can always go for the third one damn all right so i'll take this schedule and luminous i'll let you uh run up rel division one and then uh staircase can finish up with uh division two so don't we have to do G, G, uh, G man div two that's what i'm doing oh okay that makes sense yeah so we got bleeding hippie versus the bargain boozers taking a 1-0 win um quick look on that and see if it was a bloody match or not and not really 13 armor breaks 9 armor breaks we do have a strength 4 uh, dwarf though blitzer Woo! He, With tackle. he was already he was already there uh, like in the beginning of the season like I don't care that's still terrifying it was like game 3 4 that's that's what you wish for you wish for that yeah, um, and, Hop and Optimus Prime, his runner, is an edgy full runner. Oh, damn. He's got he's got uh, quite the team coming for next season. Um, yeah. And a dead roll-up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Uh, Murica FM, I know that's not your name, but remember, that's what's going to be for the rest of your life. Uh, versus Murica, the Lightfingers. Fuck yeah. 2-1. Um, Heretics of Lilith beating the Superstars. and I'm so sorry, Superstars, but I'm pretty sure he's re-rolling for next season, so... That'll be good, since I know his team's pretty much... I actually dead. am doing a deal right now. I'm going to, I think, adopt one of his players into my team. Oh, okay, you're going to buy one of them? I'm going to buy Loki the Runner, which has Dodge and Frenzy. Well, I guess this is a good segue. So, guys, when we do end the main season, if you're... Uh, and when the, the tournament's over, we're going to have one bye week until the next season starts. I will have the trading open so you'll be able to buy and sell players and if you need to buy and sell cross regions let me know so i can move you accordingly so uh, also really important gamba the transfer market is opened after the playoffs then i assume yes we can start it after the playoffs but the people in the playoffs also want to do it so after the super bowl they will have a shot to uh 
to do it as well. Right. So after the Super Bowl, there's one break week where we'll all open the transfer market for all your transfer goodiness. Yeah, I'll open it for the main season now, but there's people who are going to be obviously in their other weird matches, so they probably yeah. won't get really used until then. Um, I might actually get a little bit more money because I really do need that to actually be buying those guys. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, the Big Bang Bashers versus uh, Gengar. It was a uh, one-one. Um, yep. A very close game, uh, but in the end, Nuffle fucked us both a little bit. <laughs> um, AV7 Dwarfs took a draw against maybe Orcs Will Work, which is uh, which is nice. Uh, Mr. AV7 Dwarfs has been playing a pretty mighty short season for being one of the sub-ins. He's, he's, uh, he's done really well. He's, he's gone undefeated, I think, in his three or four games. His um, name is really making me cringe, though. Because the, the way Dwarfs spelled? No, AV7 Dwarfs. That's exactly what the laws are not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I do like how his runners are the only ones which are getting real big. <laughs> and the other ones are just like zero, 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 zero. Yeah, <laughs> he's only had a couple games, so it's all been, it's all just been extra, extra SPP to help him out when the next season starts. Yeah, but that's like a theory I got with the North team. So like every player basically can become a starter, just depends on the love of the coach. Poor. Oh, when did he lose an old foreigner? Uh, his last, first game versus bleeding game. hippie. Oh, 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 that's a shame. I was gonna say, poor, poor maybe orcs will work. He has been bleeding players. His AB nine does not mean anything. I hate to digress, but I kind of want to find him and like give him just a quick little little pity look because he's been doing really well and playing a good season, but he is, his armor value has not held. Um, yeah, so I guess orcs didn't work in the end. They did. He, he had is... a pretty good season. His black cork is still dead, it seems. Yeah, yeah, he's still trying to get the money back. Um, uh, he's lost two of them. Yeah. Somebody else also killed one of them. So. Ah, oh, so rough. It's been a rough season. Hopefully, hopefully he sticks it out, though. Uh, Sun Bros, Sun Bros, Sun Bros, Sun Bros. Uh, takes a 2-0 against Chance. Um, I know Chance isn't too upset he's going back to his old team after this. And uh, the Cowboys got their free, uh, free win. And we've already talked about... Uh, the ups and downs, so we're gonna cut it short there and jump over to the uh, RL Division One. Loom, take it away when you're ready, buddy. Sure. So, unfortunately, this week we missed. Uh, there were several matches that weren't played. Uh, the New Day Co-op and Crimson Pride weren't able to play. So, yep, that's a I, I, I don't know the circumstances behind that game, but uh, was it? Uh, C Crimson Pride has not put his uh, stuff on the Google Sheet, even though he's been asked a couple times on the Reddit. Uh, so poor Co-op couldn't get a hold of him. So I just told him, "Don't worry about it. It's he obviously is either not going to be returning next season, or he's just kind of over it this season since he's kind of had it really rough." Uh, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, mm -hmm. who's not coming back? Crimson Pride. A Crimson Pride is uh, okay. Okay. He got he got thrown into Division One as a fresh roll with us, and yeah, okay. uh, obviously this is probably the worst division to be thrown in as a fresh roll. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you guys continue. We'll be right back. Sure. Right. And then another game that wasn't played, unfortunately, uh, was the uh, Handsome Jacks versus the USS Sulaco. Yep. Um, that's because the Handsome Jacks had some other real life things and couldn't get to the match. Unfortunate, but it did help out uh, Eyes and Mike, the free win. Unfortunately, I failed him and wasn't able to pull a draw for uh, the Roses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's the next game on the list. Uh, the Texas Tryhards and uh, Ed the Mad, Game of Roses, 2-1. Um, pretty bloody game. Uh, it was close. It, there was a chance there, but at the end, yeah, just didn't have it. And the next game on the list was the uh, Dota Lost Stars and Odin's Bards. Um, this was just a massacre, unfortunately, yeah. uh, for Spoonie Bard here. Uh, suffered two deaths. I'm pretty sure there was three, another injury on top of that, but that's really rough. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, he, he. Especially considering his team was already pretty beaten up to begin with. Um, I, I've spoke with him, and he is for sure... He's taking the reroll, so he will be down in Division Two uh, next season. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm and then Sakari gets the bye week with Harlequin. Yep. Um, MVP went to a source and leveled up a, a skink. It looks like. Uh, 
not much there. And then my game, well, no, not 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 yet. Uh, <laughs> the Knights of Who Said Me versus Crickets of Horny, so Miss Days versus uh, Horny Cricket. Surprisingly close match, it looks like, at least from the score. God, it looks it was like. a fantastic game. Probably like one of the funnest matches I've had all season, to be honest. Yeah, I'm. So with the TV difference, what did you end up getting? Um, actually, I ran out of time, so I've ended up missing out on 150k. Ooh. But I still had um, Babes, a bribe, a wizard, and I got um, Longstride. I think his name is. Is he like the catcher, right? He's the thrower. Oh, the thrower. Okay. I was thinking of uh, have a diving catch, so I was gonna hail Mary if things got ugly, but that didn't pan out. It was a very uh, back and forth game. There was a lot of injured lizards by the end. Um, mm -hmm. He he managed to pull it out in the last two turns or so after I stole the ball and he stole it back. So it was fun. Yeah, that looks like a good game. Yeah, I got myself an AG4 blocker from it too. So I might have to I'm see not if I can, I can find some yeah, time and nice. do some coverage on it. <sighs> All right. Well, now we come to your game. Against yeah, my Alpha game. Sigma Sigma, how'd is... it go? Uh, it's a 1-1, one, one, and the main reason was... I, I, I wouldn't say I learned from Benachar's mistake, but I certainly pre was preparing for that kind of situation in this game. Uh, I, had, I had basically taken two Line Rats and a, uh, an additional APO, just in case, so I'd have all my players at least available for the playoffs. And... Uh, Despite it being 1-1, one, one, I still made it pretty hard for Alpha Sigma Sigma to score. He needed to do a dwarf pass in order to get that touchdown. So Damn. Um, and then my one-turn touchdown failed because he got a perfect defense on the kickoff. But um, after that, it's just uh, it would have been a 2-1 if I could have gotten the one-turn, but um, sadly, no. That's a little a uh, little SPP that you lose, but you were in a good spot, so I'd say that's a I'd say that's a win. You know what I mean? Your team's still intact, you're still holding strong. Um, which, yeah, certainly. Which brings us to the unfortunate thing for that though is you lost the number one seed to cricket. Ooh. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry. It's staircase also my let, fault. Yeah, staircase let you down <laughs> on that one. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately. Um, so that means uh, Cricket will be playing... Oh, that's going to be such a rough match for uh, Soul of Dragonfire. Oh, Yeti to Party? Yeah, Yeti to Party is going to be playing. Oh, I'm so Cricket. sorry. I'm so sorry for that, Norris team. Right, I'm back. What did I miss? A lot of things. Uh, the Crickets are going to play the Yeti to Party. Um, Yeti to Party has, be has begged me for a bye week so his team could kind of recoup. And... Um, Unfortunately, it'd be unfair to let him have a bye week without letting everyone have a bye week. Uh, yeah, that's not what you do, so, you know, he's going to get beat. Well, you did the party had a good run, but uh, here's, here's one good thing. His niggling injuries are out for next match, so well, uh, he won't be able to get hurt by them. I, I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't... What's up? I wouldn't count him out quite yet. He's going to get... Some pretty good star players with either Chani or oh, yeah. uh, Hammer Blow. So those Claw guys could at least do some damage to some Source. Oh, I'm... I don't know. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I'm not counting him out. I'm just thinking that his team is going to take a beating. That's, that's doesn't matter if he goes through. It's it's whether his team survives or not so at that's, this point. That's kind of oh, what so, I was getting at. Soul of Dragonfire, the moment you're selling that runner, I am interested. Be in me at Jengard. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> I, I was going to say, I would almost be, and maybe it's just because I'm a very defensive coach in mine, like I don't really care about the wins, I would almost want to maybe pixel hug a little bit on this match, because you're going to be in Division 1 no matter what. So it might be worth it to get those star players and try to just keep your star players alive. I'll be really honest, like I like what Yeti Tupati did in the Division and how far he got, but... If you were to compare his team with my team, and I've said it before, the fact that he has nigglings is actually a gunshot into his knee. Well, oh he's... god, he's missing a Yeti and a Berserker for the game. I had two nigglings as well on my team. One of them I kept because he's a dirty player, he's a scumbag who doesn't deserve better. And the other one, I actually fired and rehired because, you know, you can't keep running around with that, it's too dangerous. I don't know, I, I kind of, normally I would agree with you, but... As of right now, um, 
with how much bloat he is going to be going up against, he's going to get he's going to get easily the two the two free star players and probably a wizard. Yeah, but um, star players on that's amazing. Mm, well, Wilhelm Cheney against Sauruses is kind of great, and the Yeti is also going to be helpful. Blow. Yeah, ask uh, Spoonie Bard how that turned out when uh, Wilhelm Cheney was KO'd on turn one. <laughs> There's only one star player in my book which is really worth the effort, and that's Count Lutal. The, uh, the vampire? The 5 strength, 4 edgy, 6 movement allowance vampire with 9 armor value, block, hypnotic gaze. My cats are having a very epic battle in a box right now. That's what I think about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lex so Luthor for president. <laughs> we got uh, Luminous. You get to play uh, Ed the Mad. Uh, oh. no. Wait, is that how it goes? Yeah, you're the. Oh yeah, I guess. The second to last seed. Didn't you completely destroy his team? <laughs> last game is because they have like missed next game for like. Well, let's, let's see. take a look at both the teams. So let's pull up. Uh... Yeah, he's not going to have his three next game. Let's pull up Ed the Mad. Oh, I, I apparently that's can't find him because I'm really bad at this. Yeah, that means it's his strength game is gone, so he has to solely rely on that uh, wall dancer versus the team of Luminous, which I think is top seed in this, isn't he? No, oh, he's, he's second well, now. He's... He got knocked down a peg. Yeah. Uh, did Cole Convoy go? I just still need to like, check the standings. It's uh, Cricket, Horny Cricket. Cricket seed one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Holy Cricket. Oh, Jesus. The ex champion is really wanting to claim the title again. Yeah, he's going he's going to get his title back. I I'm gonna I'm gonna lean on Luminous for this. Um he the team he's going up against has taken quite the beating, so he's got two players that are sitting off that are gonna be replaced with linemen. And uh with the the mighty blow piling on Storm Vermin, he can I think he's gonna be able to do a lot of damage and might be able to remove players and since he's a good coach and I'm not a good coach, if he can remove what star players uh, Ed has, it will make his match that much easier to win. Tackle. It's, basic, it's basically, oh, tackle, if, I, yeah, if I look at it, it's one way. I see two star player gutter runners versus one star player war dancer. With the war dancer having the smaller edge, but the rats do have a lot of mutations, which is really nice, and the rats do have a piece which can basically knock out any scoring threats, which is really, really huge for them. Yeah, I'm gonna assume, oh, Luminous, disgusting. you're gonna pick yourself as, uh, your pick. Uh, well, <laughs> it's not quite that simple. Uh, there's a lot of things that scare me about this match. Mainly that I only have one tackle piece, and Ed the Mad has a bunch of dodge. Mm -hmm. Is that so why you're be... sitting there with, with 190,000 just to buy a wizard? <laughs> I actually should have enough. Uh... Mm, I think our T value is gonna be pretty similar. I could. I'm gonna buy an extra line man because I want to have at least that ex those two extra um, just in case things start going bad. But I guess maybe since it's Ed the Mad, I might not need it, and I might just be fine with one. I'd need to think about that because um, uh, he has no mighty blow. He has nine players, so he's getting two lunas, which means he has 140k. He's going to add to his team value. Your team value is sitting at 1,650. Also, you might want to do something about your cash because everything above 150 actually adds to TV. Of course, if of course. If you play your cards well, you can get a wizard. Oh yeah, I'll have the money too, uh, certainly. Uh, it's just going to be... Uh... That's if I really... If I didn't... Because if, if I spend the money and get the wizard now... Let's say if I win and then I, I pace off against, let's say... Um, it could be Horny Cricket, it could be Takari... Uh, those are, are pretty rough matchups too, so... <laughs> Either way, it's going to be Lizards! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Death, Taxes, and Lizards. It's the I only can... thing that's constant. Well, yeah, oh man. I have to actually In the draw... Reddit Eternal Lizards. The Reddit Eternal Lizards. Yeah, no, depending it was on the reptil reptil Reptilian Eternal, Eternal League. League. Yeah, depending yeah. on who you go up against next, um... That's 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 really what's gonna matter is uh, if you want to have that wizard. So I guess you're gonna have to do some theory crafting. Um, I gotta think about how a tree actually goes. I'm trying to draw it in my head. You'd you'd probably be going up against Horny Cricket. Um, hold on, two two. Yeah, you'd be probably going up against Horny Cricket. I think he's gonna pull the W, which means 
You it might be anti to party. It might be. I'm not saying it won't be. If it is, I don't think you'd need the wizard for that match, though. Um, and Wait, who gets... Who gets to buy the in the second the round? Again? Um, I don't know. I haven't actually physically drawn up. I've only drawn up the first part of it, so I can do this video. Ah. Shh. You're ruining everything, Staircase. I'm sorry. Um, the buy would probably go to the seed one. Horny Cricket. Yeah, because it makes sense since he's seed one. I think that's uh, how they who's... do it. But anyway. But then who would play yet either party then? No, no, no this is the second week, round. The second round. Oh, second, second round. round. Oh, okay. Buy. Second round by. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So, um. So next is a New Day co op versus, uh. Provocative protagonist. Hmm. We got. A... This is a really, really fun matchup. Now, I actually have to check both teams out because I haven't been so much in Rel to actually see what's going to happen here. Oh no, it, they, they're nasty. It they're would have been better in the past, because they had a Claw Palm Chaos Warrior. Whoa, where'd he Not go? anymore, though. It's He's dead. It's your fault. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault. <laughs> you killed him? I killed it. Whoa. Yeah. That, that's a huge kill. Chaos is getting killed this season. <laughs> yeah, that's a it's big weird. one. Um, losing that Claw oh. is really gonna... Fuck Chaos, it's the rats in the north which are the killer pieces. You know, AV7 for life, yo. That's really gonna 100%. hurt him. Um, yeah, he's gonna be a little outstrength now. I think. He's, does he still have? Zakari has a blotch killer. Zakari has a lot of things. He has strength <laughs> five as well. Ooh, ooh. Zakari is technically in the under of the seed, but I'm almost wanting to put my money on him. Uh, oh, my money's on Zakari. Just because he only ever plays lizards and he has sitting on 210,000 yeah, cash. What the actual fuck happened to the scales team? They had so many good players and now the only thing they got left is like mediocre shit. Kool-Aid also really mains Chaos and I think his, he's number one in the coal is Chaos. So... Uh, the call got reset, so then I mean different now. But you know, being number he one used in the call is number one in the call season one. We're being saying. number one in the call is as much as an achievement of being number one in the third league of football. It's whoa. not really an achievement. Whoa, whoa! If you would have won the World Cup, I would have been in the finals of the World Cup. Then I'd be impressed. Wow. He's gonna bring chaos. <laughs> he's good say. with chaos. I'm not going to lie. I've faced him before, and he's good with chaos. Dang. But I don't like people saying like, oh, I'm good in the call. Like, eh? So it's the call of the scumbag league. Congratulations. Damn. <laughs> Them be fighting words. All right. Well, my pick is going to be, uh, is going to be, uh, teriyaki sauce. <laughs> teriyaki. <laughs> I'm well, really sorry that I can't pronounce your name and everyone keeps saying it and I always forget. And it's not because I don't love you, I do respect you. Kool-Aid has an agility game, which is really interesting with Chaos. And he does have the TV lower now, that he will have lots of inducements versus Zuccari, but it's... Uh, I think I am going to give the edge to Zuccari simply because of Strength 5, uh, Crocs, and... Yeah, the Lizards are just going to overpower Chaos that's, in this game. That's kind of what I'm assuming, it's going to be a big Strength push. Um, Loom, what are you, where are you, yeah. what are you saying on this one? Sakari's got the edge in terms of the matchup here. Um, I don't really think inducements would really close the gap here. You could probably get like a star player or two, a wizard, but. Yeah, but uh, it's still one power in. Him. Yeah, only one tackle piece against Skinks. It's gonna be hard. It's not. It's, hard. Yeah, it's not gonna be super easy, and that Sora, Sora are gonna be all on top of that beast. And edgy, um, edgy four Yoshi, by the way, just saying. Oh, oh so good. All right, staircase. Where are you? Uh, where are you tossing your coin? I'm gonna throw it with Sukari, which means we've officially all sided against Kool Aid Convoy. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't say sided. I'm just thinking that you know, <laughs> teriyaki sauce has the, the advantage. Prove us wrong. I would have said Kool Aid Convoy if he still had his chaos piling on and block yeah, piece, that claw but that's piece dead now. So would have you made, know, made have made all the world of difference. Also, does he have a minotaur, or is that dead already as well? No, he never had. He's never gotten one. No. He, oh, he, he doesn't like big guys. That's a smart move, though. I mean, for competitive play, I could see. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. I have to agree with that. It's a smart move. It's not a fun move, but it's a smart move. All right, well, let's talk about. I don't know, man. What's that that? Uh, Croxagor is uh, did some work for Sakari when I played him. Let's talk That's a about the, uh, the, the people True. going down and people going up and 
confuse people with that because I know I get confused just thinking about it. All right, so um, Harley's dropped, so obviously they're not going anywhere. They don't exist anymore. Then um, we have a certain Gamba of the um, Texas Tiehards. Texas Tiehards is going to be uh, taking a face off against. It's bad that I don't know these things. I'm just going to keep clicking the wrong buttons. Okay, I'm going to be playing against uh, Dash Schuttenheim. Oh, it'll be fun. I love Dash Schuttenheim. He's a cool cat. Wait, um, what's his team? Is that the Blackfire Loyalists? No, that is uh, Neckbeards, Norse. No, I wanted them. Nope, I get them. They're <sighs> mine! <laughs> you, my friend, get to play against what's Tiny Bubbles. With, what's up with oh, you guys and, you know, cow. wanting the uh, Schuttenheim rather than... Yeah. Well, let's take a quick I look at elves, it. Man. Um, Norse-wise, yeah. my dwarves versus Norse makes me kind of feel... Ooh, 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 huge upset here. I think uh, you might have a problem, Gamba, because I just saw something with the Schuttenheim steam, which I haven't seen before. A strength one of runner. his, yeah, one of his runners got fucking strength four. Yeah, yeah, I know that's gonna make things difficult, but I just, I'd rather play his team because I know he's gonna want to bash with me. And either way, Wait. I'm gonna have fun because. Just a second, that Schuttenheim. If you ever think about retiring your team, I am interested in your runner. Just send me <laughs> an email at Genesis at hotmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the Blackfire Loyalists haven't even played yet. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, they have not. It's... So this is subject to change, people. This is subject to change. We're yeah, but no, it... he's not gonna go up above. He uh, could. No. I guess yeah. No, he's depends, gonna, depends on... on touchdowns. Yeah. Depends. It's gonna go to touchdowns. Anyway, if he well, wins, we're seeing. Yeah. either way, I'm either playing, so I guess I'm either playing Neckbeards or I'm playing High Elves. Um, There's one thing which is dangerous about the Neckbeards, which is actually something he has more than me. And that's also very funny knowing because I've heard so many people this season, but I have only done it with two Mighty Blow pieces. He has three Mighty Blow pieces. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Mighty Blows. And one of them is a piling on Berserker. Um. <laughs> So we don't know who we're gonna play, which means Handsome Jax is following up that last, uh, that last one. Uh, believe it or not, Crimson Pride avoids uh, avoided relegation. Um, wow. I'm not sure if it's because I don't know. It's awesome for him. So kudos to him. He gets to stay in Division One. Um, he's probably sitting there pulling his hair out like no. So as of right now, depending on what happens, it looks like uh, he will be playing. Uh, the Crunch. Here we be playing Orcs. So humans versus Orcs. The, the the classic lineup, right there. Best out of three. Uh, humans versus Tiny orcs. Bubbles. No. Well, <laughs> like you said, that match hasn't been played, and I have to double check and see um, if either of them have sent me a message. As of right now, off the top of my head, I don't know. So I think they were supposed to play tonight. Actually, I was reading on Reddit something about like. It was they're PDT though, so they're like way behind us. That's fine. They're figuring it out. You know what that means though? Oh. Staircase. Talk about stuff and things in Division Two. Go. Wait, okay. I just I just want to interrupt uh, for one small thing, which is pretty important to know. Hmm. Huge Jacked Man at the moment is level four, which oh, yeah. means he needs three more levels before this level seven. Now, if I look at his skills and if I look at Bob Bippet's skills, Huge Jackman only needs one strength up. One agility up, and that's it. So he needs one strength up and one agility up, and basically he has the same build as Bob Biffet then. Oh, that would be amazing, but I don't think he's going to get it. That's 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 a lot to ask for. Granted, he's... I been... know, but it, it would have been just... It, it would be perfect. Huge Jackman, the new Bob Biffet. Oh, my goodness. He would go down. We would actually start a real Hall of Fame for players. If that was if that was the case, I'm thinking That'd about be it anyway amazing. because his, his, he's just ridiculous. He's stupid. Um, he's so good. <laughs> All right, staircase. You ready? Yeah. Do it. So, uh, speaking of tiny bubbles, they were actually edged out in a close two-one game with uh, Observe React Crunch. Looks like the orcs actually did a ton of damage with only uh, ten armor breaks. I'm counting. Yeah, at least like five injuries from it. Hold on a second. Um, four injuries inflicted. Yeah, four injuries. Three. Yep. Doesn't look like it was fun. <laughs> uh, the Neckbeards actually lost to uh, Ratsoftia, who actually managed to kill one of their players. 
at the expense of Brandon, the line rat, who got an MVP and died, of course. No, that sucks, but that's an upset right there. Yep. Uh, Yeti the party, uh, edged out Stephen and the dwarfs, despite having their armor broken 21 times. Ooh. Yeah, that doesn't seem very fun either. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously the Blackfire loyalists are still waiting on their game, mm -hmm. so we'll, we'll see what are the promotion series are actually going to be. Uh, is this a concede? Yeah. yeah uh, the Dwarf Fortress conceded to the San Diego Blitzers, which should be nice for them. Lots of money. They got uh, MVP on one of their Blitzers, who see appears to have leveled up, and another Blitzer, so that's actually really good for them. Um, the Black Raven Brawlers took out uh, Surf's Up. It looks like another match where the Orc Armor prevailed. Guys, the Surf's Up only made it out with three armor breaks. Damn. Yeah, that sucks. Fun fact, uh, I actually am just looking at this team because I'm interested in seeing a development and that's kind of it. Okay. But Resistance is Feudal is just bringing a really special build to the game. Well, yeah. Let's take a look at him. Oh, All man. The I like it. Fend, oh, fend, they're, playing, fend, they're fend. playing Fend, are they? Yeah. yeah. They are. The Fend build. They're going, they're going fend and dirty player. I it's, love it. It's really obnoxious. Um, but yeah, they actually lost uh, and ruined Animal Farm's perfect mediocre season. No, uh, poor Animal Farm. I know, I know. I feel so bad. He was, <laughs> he was even complaining the head of the game that they better not mess it up for him. That's uh... so. Uh, I am so sorry. Say sass. I don't know how to say sauce. it, like, so you're like gonna be sauce from now on. <laughs> well, my yeah, favorite player. About that. My favorite player is Smiles of Elderberries. <laughs> All right, well, guys, that that kind of takes us to the end of it. I I hate for it to just kind of end like that, but uh. That's that's pretty much all she wrote. We got playoffs coming up, just a reminder, and then you got your relegation matches. Uh, so for next week, after we hit the rollover on Wednesday, I will have the same post, except Wait. instead of the beautiful picture, it will have uh, just who you are playing, and then I will have to send tickets. I actually still have something fun we might be able to watch, because this is the end of the season anyway, we might want to do something special. What's that? Maybe we want to look at the Hall of Fame. Quick Hall of Fame rundown. I will uh, say, let's wait until the very, very end after the Super Bowl, and I only say that because my wife just got home. Wow. <laughs> Priorities. Damn, right? I know. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, okay. I get it. I'm sorry. I get it. I'm oh, not man. enough. Oh, damn. <laughs> you guys are important. I love you guys. I think, I think it'd be a lot of fun to do it at the end of the Super Bowl. It will, uh, I know it will give everyone else a little bit of a chance to, in the Super Bowl, who get to keep playing to shine, but... Alright, I'm sorry, here, let's look at it. I'm, I made you guys all feel bad. Alright, Hall of Fame. The <laughs> Ariel. <laughs> Jesus, you... <laughs> just made me feel bad. Oh, it's not working. Love... We only get the top three. I love mm. how you just jumped from one opinion to the other. I just love it. Yeah, but you guys say we're sad. Well, we don't get to choose the different categories. We only get top three players. So there are your top three players. <laughs> what is glitched, what unfortunately. <laughs> it's glitched. It's glitched. Can you, you can, pick well, you them can... between the divisions? No. You, you can only see SPP. Yeah. So here are our top three players for the REL at the end of the main season. Ba-da-da! Ba-da-da! <laughs> Prickets. Oh, wow. Rosarius Guardarian is not... First. It's yeah. Guile. Da, 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 Guile. Da, Guile's da, crazy. Alright, let's go over to Division 2. Here's our Division 2 picks. Da, 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 da. And it's not our picks, it's who the game thinks is the best, based yeah, off of who, who is the highest uh, SPP. Who, who is the highest because my game just crashed. Oh, it's uh, uh, Crunch. It's uh, Grawlflack. An orc. An orc. That's it's, interesting. That is interesting. Let's give him a quick little spotlight. We'll give the top one. He's movement allowance 7 with a niggling injury. Oh no, broken jaw, sorry. Uh, sidestep dodge, block. A real hero. A real, a Great real, blitz, sir. real orc hero among men. Um, and then let's take a quick look at Guile. 
He's movement allowance nine with sprint, block, sheer feet, and sidestep. That's Graphics a... got so much SPP because he scored ten touchdowns. That's he's yeah he's he's if you take a look at his statistics he's a, a boss. Thirty four matches played, one KO, six injuries. He was cra he crowd surfed someone once. What a what a what a guy. All right, let's jump over to G Man and Hall of Fame it. <laughs> G-Man, it actually works ah. for some reason. Well, it does work? It ah, does. that's a shame. Well, you don't get, get fucked. You don't get, <laughs> you don't get special treatment, G-Man. You just get the most experience as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thorne and Company's got a kill. We Jimmy? got Jesus. Oh, Green Bay Packmaster's getting the guy up on the board. And uh, yeah. Marilock, let's take a look at him. Marilock uh, is his final season as well, I've heard. Oh, he's getting retired? Uh, I think Orc and Remnants want to roll with something else next season, so the Remnants are finally going to be put to ashes. Well, it was a good season. And, so uh, let's have a oh, last wow. look at Metalock, the we, fake wood elf, we before did. he dies in glory. We did. He doesn't die, he gets to go, he gets to actually have a real life, he gets to see his children finally. <laughs> <laughs> with that, like, mask burn in his face. Yeah. I'm dad. I'm your daddy. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, you're in division two. Yeah, you got two guys up there on the uh, on the leaderboard there, buddy. Yep. You got the number one seed. Um, taking a quick look. Plus strength, sure hands, leader pass. Look at him and his little speedos. <laughs> Damn. He, he he swims a lot, so he's really strong. I can imagine. He's uh, 13 injuries, three KO inflicted, 44 successful blocks, three MVPs. One successful catch for the vanity pass, I was assuming. Yep. Yep. All right, guys, that's your. Uh, those are your 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 leader your leaderboards. Those are your everything else, and uh, I hope I hope to see you all next season. And stay tuned for uh, the matches to come, playoffs, relegation coverage, all that jazz. Also, from now on forward. I will be streaming every match I play, so the playoffs, uh, the relegation matches I will be playing for the same kind of it will be streamed. I will post a schedule of when we play in the actual G-Man and RL Reddit, but most likely it's going to be, you know, planned spot on. I would, I would also make sure that you, uh, if you want to have commentary, we're going to try to set up that schedule for live commentary for playoffs and uh, relegations if we can. Yep. So, keep in tune for that, that should be fun. Um, <coughs> poster to come other than that i will we will see you guys on the uh, the flippity flop we are going to playoffs bye bye everybody and good luck everybody in the playoffs and have fun and may there be blood yes may there be blood and may uh, nuffle not screw you over too hard not for the blood god <laughs>